That's right, Evan. A very big win. We've been talking since this pandemic started, the shortage of supplies, that personal protective equipment that they've been dealing with. As you mentioned, the FDA had originally only allowed limited disinfecting. In the last hour, we learned that they have expanded that, and that comes after Governor Mike DeWine made his feelings very publicly clear that he said the federal government was not moving fast enough. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting. Governor Mike DeWine says his administration has been working with Columbus-based Battelle and the FDA for several days to try and get approval for technology that can sterilize the N95 surgical masks on a large scale. These are the specialized masks healthcare workers rely on to stay safe while treating COVID-19 patients and the same masks health officials say we don't have enough of to get through this pandemic. This is really important. And the reason it's important is we have to protect the people who are in the front line. We've got to have this because people on the ground depend on it. Battelle developed this technology a few years ago, but the coronavirus pandemic has forced it to ramp up the devices to disinfect masks on a large scale. The company provided this video, which shows the devices being built. Battelle has two of them in Ohio and one in the New York City area ready to be put to use right now with more devices in the works. Early Sunday morning, the FDA gave the company permission to use the technology, but only to clean 10,000 masks each day. The devil was in the details. It was only allowed to occur on a limited basis. That's just not good enough. You know, I'm kind of an impatient guy, but, you know, lives are literally at stake. Governor DeWine took his case straight to President Donald Trump, saying with so many lives in the balance, that limited approval was not enough. So we worked on that as soon as I heard from Mike today. I got involved and the FDA is now involved and we're trying to get a fast approval for the sterilization of masks. It's not going to solve every single problem. We know that. It's not going to stop the surge coming at us. But it is going to help. Battelle says it is ready to start disinfecting masks and sending them back to hospitals starting Tuesday. This is something that will be done in different parts of the country, including New York City. Here in Ohio, though, it will start with hospitals close to the state capitol. And then it says the company says it will quickly expand to reach different areas of the state that need the service the most. Reporting tonight live at UC Medical Center, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.